but it's like, yeah. It's like, uh, people are assholes. That's the one thing that's never gonna change about life. People are assholes. Um. Load em up, baby. Hmm. Am I completely out of topics? I don't know. Uh, I'm not out of topics. I'm just sort of blanking out right now. So yeah, I was I was gonna segue earlier into talking about hey yeah. So one of my favorite YouTubers of all time, I'm not magic. Uh, name drop there. He he's relatively small. I'd say he has an audience, but he's relatively small and he's pretty. He seems pretty cool. Um, and you know he uploaded a video earlier, and I just I barely watched it before I did this and. It was about losing a best friend. And you know I figure I I that's what I was talking about earlier. Because I lost the best friend. He you know, he kicked me out. He he tried he basically said he tries to like reach out to me or something. Like he talks a lot about how he tries to reach out to me, but I never accept it, even though I'm sitting there just like what the fuck are you talking about? Like, I talk to you a lot. Like, you know, I remember at one point, I couldn't, like, I, if I even left the room for a few seconds, like, if I left the room for a few minutes, he'd go follow me and, you know, make sure I was okay or something. Like, he didn't fucking trust me, it was clear. And you know what? I want people to trust me because, uh, you think, you know, yeah, sure. I may have seemed depressed at the time because I was, you know, leaving everything I knew. I was becoming a fucking adult. And you know what? Becoming an adult is one of the hardest things because, as I was explaining to one girl on a flight, when you're 17, your parents ask you to take out the trash. When you're 18, they ask you to buy the trash, you know? That's one big fucking change. It's, it's... You have to pay for everything, or you don't have to necessarily pay for everything. But you have to pay for a lot of your shit, and it's like you have to you have to work, and yeah, sure, it's something that you get used to over time. But it's I went down. Oh, fuck you, zombie. Um, but it's like it's fucking hard growing up. You know, it sucks when you grow up in a household that doesn't really. Teach teach you any of this, in a household that treats you as if you're a fucking child, and yeah, sure, you're a child, but, like, as soon as you're 18, it's like, hey, get the fuck out of the house, you know, do something with your life, and it's like, you guys didn't teach me jack shit until I was, you know, until now, you're not even teaching me shit now, you're just telling me to do shit, so it's like, I don't know, growing up fucking sucks, and I understand, I can understand if anybody's depressed about getting out of the house or, you know, anything. It's, I've been there, I've been there. It's fucking hard. Some parents hate you, some parents will love you. You know, some parents are neither for here or nor there. They're just there, you know. They take care of you and then you can do whatever the fuck you want. They don't care about you. If you die, whatever. If you don't die, whatever, you know. It's, it's, uh, it's fucking life, you know. Uh, it, it, I I said it once. I said it again. It's life fucking sucks. You know, I'm living it through. I'm living living it for as long as my life will let me live. You know, uh, if I die tomorrow, I'm fine with that. Sure, a few friends will be bummed out, especially one certain person will be fucking bummed out. But you know, it's whatever. You know. I'll, I'll meet them. I'll meet them someday. You know, I'll meet... I know for... Like, yeah, sure, I may not know if there's a heaven or a hell out there, but... You know... Just enjoy life. Like, I think one of the reasons why I don't enjoy religion is because it's basically telling me what to do. It tells me to pray, like... It, I don't know, some religions tell me to pray once a day, every day, and twice on Sunday or something. Or, you know, just live your life in the order of Christ or something. Like, throughout the whole life fest experience, um, pretty much, uh, they explained how 
you shouldn't go your own way in life. You should follow the way of Christ. Now, I think that's fucked up because it's like, yeah, I understand that Christ tells you to do what, uh, basically Christ says do something you want to do or do something. Like whatever Christ quote tells you to do, quote unquote tells you to do, you should follow it. And it's, it's just, I hate the idea of that. Like I believe in everything, you, you have the free will to do what you want. But everything is lined up for you. Like, if you go a certain way, everything's lined up for you. Like, um, I feel as if, you know, everything's lined up in a certain way. Like, events are lined up in a certain path. Like, if I wouldn't have, um, for example, me... Uh, wanting to record YouTube videos caused this chain of events for me to meet some really good people um, using the term good as in like good friends not like you know genuine good people because I can tell you I don't think we are good people um, you know these good people like if it weren't for me wanting to start doing YouTube way back when you know like I think I probably would not have met, you know, people like Tom, or, um, who else, Matt, or Matt, or Matt, or Matt, you know, like, I wouldn't have met any of these people, I think I'm gonna die here, which is okay, because I'm not done, I'm not done yet, but I'm gonna keep, I'm probably gonna jump on the multiplayer, because that's originally what I was planning on doing, because I want to talk more about this because I got into an interesting subject. Oh wow, it's been 51 minutes. I should probably end this soon though. Um, and if you can hear that, that's my asshole dogs in the background. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, like I think everything's lined up in a certain way so that, like, I mean, I don't, I, 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 I hope you guys get what I mean when I say that, like, if you go a certain path, it's, it's there for you, like, your path is lined out, you don't see what's ahead of you, but your path is lined out, and it just so happens, it, everything happens the way it does, like, there are a bunch of different paths in life, like, if it weren't for me eating Apple Jacks, a long ass fucking time ago when I decided hey I wanted I want to do YouTube videos I probably wouldn't have fucking met you know all these people like I'm not saying I did eat Apple Jacks I probably didn't even eat Apple Jacks um, but you, you know what I mean you completely get I hope you guys get what I mean um, you know and if I didn't I would have probably been this boring kid who does nothing with his life, you know, I probably would have just, I mean, I, 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 I guess I do nothing in my life, but, yeah, um, I'm, pro I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if anybody's playing Capture the Fag, you know, um, I don't know, like, that's, that's my own perspective, uh, you know, I, I enjoy, I, 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 I think, I, that, that's what I think about life, I don't know, I'm not finding many people, so I guess I'll jump on TDM. Um, I, I honestly don't know when I'm going to end this. I'm, I'm just going to end it when I end it, but if that's if that's how life, I think I, that's honestly how I think life works out. And if that's how life works out, that's that's pretty beautiful. And when you die, um, well, from what I've heard and what I've read and what I've seen, your body releases, um, sort of, a, a thing where, like, it releases, I guess, a hallucinatory thing, like, you, you know, the stuff that makes you dream, basically, is released within your body or something, and you, uh, you get to, I just completely blanked it. Um, you know, you basically dream before you die, which is pretty, 
interesting it's an interesting concept which makes me think and, you know honestly I've always wanted to become a writer like a book writer or something like I've always wanted to write books but you know I, I could never like I honestly don't think I could ever um, get into it because every time I read my own work I always hate it like I feel like it's a predictable story um, you know and I, I one day I'll get seriously into it and I'll start doing it because on a few of the plane rides, on a few of the uh, flights, plane rides, yeah, he can fly a car, but he can't drive a plane. Beautiful. Um, you know, on a few of the flights, on, you know, two of the flights, I think, uh, these girls were like, oh, man, you could be a book writer. And I'm like, oh, thank you, I guess. And, you know, because it's something I have wanted to do, but I just, I've, I've never gotten into it. I'm going to try out the blunderbuss. Um, it's something I've never really showed anybody of my writing, because I'm always just so, like, I feel like nobody's gonna enjoy them, which is, I feel, is partially true. So, yeah. Um, but your body releases this sort of... Are you fucking kidding me? You're running around with an STG-44, you're running around with Tom's Raifu, and you just run up to me and knife me. You could, You don't have the decency to fucking shoot me with the beautiful waifu that is the STG-44. Oh, now you do, now you do, asshole. Oh, this is a completely different guy. I enjoy you, I enjoy you a lot. Fuck. Fuck, I'm, I'm doing completely shitty. I probably shouldn't focus on playing. Because whenever I focus on playing, I do completely shit. Um, but yeah, your body releases some uh, drug, uh, you know, the chemical that basically makes you dream and stuff. So you're not really experiencing death. Like, your body's basically saying, hey man, everything's going to be fine. You're going to be alright, even in all reality. Even though in all reality, you're actually dying and you know but your body loves you it shows that you it loves you and if nobody else loves you like if you think nobody fucking loves you your body loves you and i know that may sound fucking lame but your body's willing to release a chemical just to make it seem like you're fucking everything's gonna be fine you know everything's gonna be a-okay and that's pretty fucking special to me that's pretty fucking special like, I, I, and if you think nobody loves you, talk to me, because I'll probably love you, because I, I love a lot of people, there's a lot of people in this life I love, and if you, if you, if you aren't a stuck-up prick who's like, oh, I'm too good for, you know, talking to people, I'm too rich for you, or I'm too good for your time, you can go fuck yourself, you know, because if you're a genuine person, I'll probably end up enjoying your company, therefore loving you. And, you know, it is okay, according to... Holy shit, I am fucking bad. Um, but according to, uh, the followers of Christ, it is okay to tell your friends that you love them. You know, it's, you know, not love love, but it's, it's love, you know? It's not like you'd love a man or a woman. Don't hate, discriminate. Oh, wait, <laughs> I fucked that up from freedom. Don't discriminate, just hate. Um, but I uh, know it's it's you know you don't you love people who you know you can love whoever you want. Honestly, I don't care who you love. If you love another guy, if you're a man and you love a man, go for it. If you if you're a woman and you love another woman, go for it. If you're a woman and you love both, go for it. You know I don't give a shit. You know do what you want in life. Do what makes you happy and just be happy because that's something that the world doesn't have much of it doesn't have much of people just being happy which is sad because happiness is a hard thing to come by and success uh, happiness is a byproduct of success as tom says um and that is wholeheartedly true do something that you will succeed at and be happy with it uh, again do other things that will make you happy. If loving a man makes you happy, go for it. If loving a woman makes you happy, if loving yourself makes you happy, do it. You know, do anything it takes to make you happy. And don't care if people judge you, because people judging you will only bring you down, 
And yeah, sure, only listen, don't listen to people who are like, oh, you suck, and not give you a reason. You know, if they give you constructive criticism at something you're, you feel as if you're skilled at, I'm not saying don't listen to them, because that's feminist SJW logic. If they're discriminating against you, don't listen to them. That's their logic. Alright? Now, if they're giving you constructive criticism, like, hey, this is something you genuinely need to work on, work on it. You know, don't just say, don't ignore it and just basically say, oh, I'm, I'm perfect without it, I don't need your help or anything. Yeah, that's fucking bullshit, like, because it's like, if you're, if you're making, if you work at a sandwich shop, and you make somebody's sandwich, and they ask for mustard on their sandwich, and you give them a whole fucking, a fucking bottle full of mustard, that's too much. And they tell you that's too much, don't, like, not listen to them. Don't say, oh, you're, you're discriminating against me, I'm triggered, blah, 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 bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Don't, don't do that shit. Don't ignore them. That's a fucking thing you need to work on. You're giving them too much fucking mustard. You shouldn't be giving them that much mustard, you know? Give them a line or two of mustard, you know? You shouldn't be giving them that much mustard. That's that's what I'm talking about. Whereas, if they're straight up hating on you saying, Oh man, this sandwich fucking sucks. Don't listen to them because it's probably the bomb ass. It's like the most bomb sandwich you've ever fucking made. And they're just hating on it because they can't make a good enough sandwich that can top that sandwich, you know? That's why you shouldn't listen to people. And I gotta kill with Tom's Raifu. That's fucking sick.